Hello everyone, welcome to the Zen of Tech. Once again, I'm Daniel and yes, yes, I know, I haven't made any videos in quite a while. That's because I've been involved in a lot of projects and I didn't have time to focus on YouTube, unfortunately. But good news, I don't have anything planned for next week, which means that a lot of videos will be up on my channel. And by the way, yes, this is an iPhone 5S. I finally got an iPhone 5S after a month of waiting. So yes, a lot of videos covering the iPhone 5S, the unboxing, review, Touch ID demo and so on on my channel by next week. So as you probably know, the Apple event, the 2013 October 22nd Apple event has just finished and they announced a lot of stuff. So new iPads, new iPad 5, new iPad mini, OS X Mavericks and new Retina MacBook Pros. So let's take a look and see what exactly has Apple upgraded in their new 2014 product lineup. So enjoy the video. Okay, so the first product that they announced at the Apple event was OS X Mavericks. So as you probably know, they announced Mavericks in June. So it pretty much has the exact same features as the one announced in June with a few exceptions. And actually, there's a pretty, pretty good exception. Okay, so first off, you get one hour of extra web browsing and up to one hour and 45 minutes of extra movie watching time, which is pretty, pretty cool. So yes, battery improvements in OS X Mavericks. Other than that, you pretty much get the exact same things as before. So maps, finder tabs, improved speed. So yes, basically all the features that they announced in June are going to come with the new OS X Maverick. But guess what? OS X Mavericks is now free. It is free. I'm not joking about this. It is free. You don't have to pay for anything to get uh, OS X Mavericks and it is released today. Simply open up the App Store and download OS X Mavericks today for free. You don't have to pay for anything. Yes, OS X Mavericks is free for everyone who has a Mac starting from 2007 onwards. So as you remember with OS X Mountain Lion, I believe they limited the Macs to 2010 and newer. If you had a Mac which was older than 2010, you pretty much had no chance of upgrading to OS X Mountain Lion. But starting today, you can pretty much get OS X Mavericks for free without having to pay anything and you simply need a Mac newer than 2007. And yes, if you're running Lion or Mountain Lion or, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you, even if you have Lion, you can simply get OS X Mavericks for free. How cool is that? Okay, next up, the Macs. Okay, so MacBook Air, they haven't done anything with the MacBook Air because obviously they've updated the MacBook Air this year in June. And for some reason, they haven't done anything with the baseline MacBook Pros. So unfortunately, there were no upgrades to the baseline MacBook Pro with no Retina displays. Now, the Retina MacBook Pros got some pretty, pretty cool upgrades. So first off, the 13-inch MacBook Pro. The new model is thinner, yeah, it's thinner, lighter, comes with a 4th generation Haswell chip. It also comes with Iris, Intel Iris graphics, which are a lot faster than the HD 5000, which you get in the MacBook Air, by the way. They have also improved the battery life, so now you can get up to 9 hours of wireless browsing. New PCIe-based storage, pretty much the same flash storage as on the new MacBook Airs. New AC Wi-Fi. And yes, finally, the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro is cheaper. So yeah, the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro is $200 cheaper uh, than the previous model, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, moving on to the 15-inch MacBook Pro. Once again, this is the Retina MacBook Pro because they haven't done any upgrades to the non-Retina MacBook Pros, unfortunately. So this one comes with Intel Iris Pro graphics, which according to Apple should match NVIDIA's current generation's GPU. Now, you can also get the NVIDIA GeForce 750M with 2 gigabytes of dedicated memory. Once again, new PCIe-based flash, AC Wi-Fi, 8 hours of battery life, so you know, it's not a big improvement from 7 hours, you now get basically a one extra hour, so you get 8 hours instead of 7 hours. Once again, not a big improvement, but it is a good improvement to have. And yes, same as a 13-inch MacBook Pro, it is $200 cheaper, which once again is a huge improvement uh, because as you probably know, the Retina MacBook Pros are extremely expensive. They're one of the most expensive notebooks on the planet. They're really, really powerful and really awesome. The Retina display is simply amazing, but the price is simply too high for any medium wealth person. Okay, now moving on to the Mac Pro. As you remember, the MacBook Pro, uh, sorry, the Mac Pro, the new Mac Pro was announced once again in June 2013 at the Apple event, and they said that they will launch this at the end of this year, but they haven't made anything official back then. So yes, in case you don't know, the new Mac Pro is incredibly, incredibly powerful. The baseline model starts with a 3.7 quad-core Intel Xeon, 12 gigabytes of RAM, dual Fire Pro GPUs, yeah, dual GPUs. 
and 256 gigabytes of flash storage. And yes, as you would expect, the price is, yeah, starts at basically $3,000. So yeah, it's really, really expensive, but also extremely powerful. So in the end, you pretty much get what you paid for, plus, you know, Apple's price. Now, it is going to be a valuable starting December, and yes, it is assembled in the US. Okay, next up, new iLife and iWork. So in case you don't know, Apple hasn't made a significant update to iLife or iWork since 2011. That's pretty much when iLife 11 was released, and iWork was pretty much updated in 2009. They haven't had any substantial upgrades or updates since then. So yes, new iLife and new iWork. Designed for iOS 7 to take full advantage of the new hardware, such as the iPhone 5S, for example, you can now take the videos, the slow-mo videos, and import them into iMovie or even iPhoto. Also take full advantage of the new A7 CPUs, that's 64-bit CPUs, which are found in the iPhone 5S and the new iPads, which I'm going to talk about in the next couple of minutes. And the biggest change is that, yes, they are free. Once again, pretty much the same thing as with OS X Mavericks. They're free and you can pretty much get them starting today. And the iPhone version, the iPad version is free as well. So pretty much every single software which is made by Apple starting today is free. Desktop operating systems, desktop apps, and mobile apps. Everything made by Apple is free starting today. Okay, number five, new iPads. Yes, Apple released new, a lot of new iPads. Actually, just two models of iPads. So the first one isn't called the iPad 5, it's actually called the iPad Air, which is basically the fifth generation iPad. So this one is only 7.4 millimeters thick, 20% thinner than the previous generation. It weighs only a pound, which pretty much means that this is the lightest tablet on the market at this moment. Comes with pretty much the same CPU as the iPhone 5S, so yes, 64-bit A7 CPU. So surprisingly, there's no A7X CPU like we had with the iPad 4, because on the iPad 4 we had the A6X, and with the iPad 5, we would have expected an A7X, which is basically an improved version of Apple's A7 CPU. But no, we pretty much get the exact same CPU that we get with, uh, with the iPhone. 5 megapixel camera, 1080p video, pretty much the same camera as before, with a few differences. So yes, larger lens, larger aperture. You also get dual mics, 10 hours of battery life, and it comes in three colors, silver and white space gray and black and the price $629 okay so moving on to the next iPad the next iPad to talk about is the iPad 2 wait what the iPad 2 yes for some reason Apple decided to keep the iPad 2 and sell it alongside the iPad Air and the iPad mini so yes the iPad 2 is pretty much the same as before there's nothing new about the new iPad 2 well actually it's not even a new iPad 2 it's pretty much once again it's pretty much the same iPad 2 nothing has changed with the iPad 2 even the price is exactly the same $399 which is really 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 expensive in my opinion for a 2011 tablet don't get fooled this is not a new tablet this was released in 2011 it has the exact same specs as before a7 CPU, same crappy 720p 0.7 megapixel camera, and no, no retina display. Okay, now moving on to the iPad minis. Yes, iPad minis because we've got two of them. So the first one is called the iPad mini with retina display or the second generation iPad mini. So with this one, yes, this one comes with a retina display, which is basically the exact same display that comes with the iPad Air. So you pretty much have the exact same resolution, only in a smaller form factor. You also get the exact same CPU that we get with the iPhone 5S and the iPad Air. So yes, 64-bit A7 CPU and the new iPad mini with the retina display, or the iPad mini 2, or the iPad mini 2nd generation, whatever you want to call it. Now you also get 10 hours of battery life, pretty much the same colors that you get with the iPad Air. And yes, for some reason Apple decided to keep the iPad mini, the iPad mini 1, the first generation iPad mini. So yes, you can still get the iPad mini non-retina display for $299, which once again is extremely, extremely expensive for such a tablet. Once again, it's a one-year-old tablet which doesn't have a retina display. You can get the Nexus 7 for $230, which is a lot cheaper, has a lot better display than the iPad mini first generation and yeah, just saying. So in case you're wondering, the iPad mini 2 or the second generation Retina iPad mini ships in November and is going to cost you $399. So basically $100 more expensive than the non-Retina iPad mini. So yes, this was basically, this was pretty much everything that Apple has announced today at their event, October the 22nd, 2013. So thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like if you have enjoyed this video. It pretty much tells me that you enjoyed this video and I'll keep making more videos 
like this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Zone of Tech, if you want to see more videos featuring the iPad 5, sorry, the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, OS 10 Mavericks, and a lot of tech products. But before I leave, I have a question for you, which is, what was your favorite device released by Apple today? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because to be honest, my favorite device released today was OS 10 Mavericks and the new iLife and iWork. The fact that all of them are now free, you don't have to pay anything to get them. This was my favorite point, my favorite thing that Apple released today at their Apple event. Let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite thing. Also, don't forget that next week I will be starting my full iPhone 5S coverage. Yes, I finally got my iPhone 5S after over a month of wait. They didn't have it in stock anywhere. So yeah, I have it now and I'm going to do a full coverage, a lot of videos starting next week. So yeah, stay tuned for that only on Zone of Tech. Also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, follow me on Twitter by Zone of Tech. Also, before I leave, don't forget that my giveaways, I'm doing, by the way, a lot of giveaways. Some of them are still going. So, the iPhone 5C giveaway is still running in case you want to win an iPhone 5C. The link is in the description down below as well as in this annotation. GTA 5, that's Grand Theft Auto 5 giveaway. Once again, link here and downstairs. And by downstairs, I mean in the description. And the iPod Touch 5th generation giveaway, once again, link here and in the description down below. So, thank you all for watching this video. Once again, like this video if you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to answer the question of the video as well. Subscribe to my channel for more tech videos featuring Apple, Samsung, and a lot of tech products. Check me out on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, you know, like as always, Zenoff Tech, signing out. Cheers.